guys welcome back this is modern man here today and today we are playing some more blue white Eldrazi and taxes so the reason you have blue in the deck opposed to the black white virgin you lose the what is it Frexian strangler I think is the card name wasteland strangler something like that I think it's a wasteland strangler and you get cool blue cards which are always nice you get reflector mages spell quellers spell stutter sprites and a phantasmal image and it doesn't really change your land base at all. You get your hollowed fountains, you play one island, uh, and you got a darker waste, Adakar waste, something like that. And you got meddling mages and spreading seas in the sideboard, which are uh, spreading seas is very good against Tron, and meddling mages also pretty good against any like combo deck. Uh, you can displace her with the meddling mage, you can flicker wisp with the meddling mage if you need to reset it what it's on. I get to play first. What do we think? We got. Aether Vial, Spell Stutter Sprite, we got nothing really after that. I don't know. You gotta risk it to get the Biscuit, right? Yep, we're gonna risk it to get the Biscuit. Keep the one land Aether Vial hand. We got a bunch of gas to go along with it, though. So, I mean, if we ever draw another land, our hand is fantastic. As long as it produces colored mana. And it's not the one of Island. It's a good idea. Ooh, gemstone mine. Okay, playing against a combo deck. Sly of hand. Okay, f ad nauseum it is. Okay, sure. Hmm. Tick up the Aether Isle. Reflector Mage is not fantastic against er, ad nauseum. We'll pass turn. Well, we're going to go down the zero lands here in a second. And Ghost Quarter away one of their lands. Okay. Now I have a decision. Do I want to hit their gemstone mine? If they tap it for mana here, I'm not going to hit their gemstone mine. I'm going to hit their temple. Okay, yeah. Definitely going after their temple because if they don't have another land, they're... Um, gemstone mine will just die. So they did put a card on bottom from the temple. Okay, that's good note. Good know how. Knowledge. Um, sure, draw card. I would like to take up Aether Vial. Thanks for asking. Ugh, another Reflector Mage? That's disgusting. I would like to put in the Leonin Arbiter. And I would like to Ghost Quarter your Temple of Deceit. And go down to zero lands and an Aether Vial. Let's do it. No big deal. No big deal. We'll eventually draw lands, right? That's how that works. There's another temple. Sure. If I draw another land, or another uh, Ghost Quarter, I'm going to Ghost Quarter that one as well. They bottom that. As oh, they sacked it for a blue mana. Serum Visions. Sure. They bottomed off their temple. That's pretty good for us. Bottom. Bottom both. Again. Bottom top. Okay. Exiled a Lotus Bloom. Sure. Maybe I keep it on two for Spell Stutter Sprite. Huh. Uh. Spell Cooler does the same thing, but it's got a wider target. And we can put all this stuff in the play if we need to. Yeah, we'll take it up. Ooh, Eldrazi Temple. That's not really the card we needed, but we're going to play it anyways. Attack with Leon and Arbiter. Opponent goes to 18. Pass turn. What do you have, opponent? Get the Ramuza Counter from their Lotus Bloom. Sure, why not? Well, maybe I should have just kept up spells there's right, but we're gonna spell queller their spare and visions. Cause I don't think they have a second land. And they do not. Okay, read that read that pretty well. Well keep Aether Vial on three. Draw an Attacar Waste. It's also pretty good. Um 
Yeah, we're just going to combat and attack for four. Keep up Spell Stutter and Eldrazi Displacer. Opponent goes to 14, past turn. It's doing pretty well against Ad Nauseam with a one-land hand. Not too bad. And granted, we drew three dead cards, but... It happens. Uh, got him, coach. Got him. Spell Stutter Sprite to Serum Visions. It's good, right? Seems pretty good. What do you got, opponent? What do you have for me? Nothing? Nothing, muffin? And stop putting Eldrazi Displacer? Now I can blink the Spell Stutter Sprite and counter their Lotus Plume. Seems pretty good. Will not tick up either while. Another a darker waste. How do you say that? Let me know down in the comments below. Is it Adakar waste or is it darker waste? I'm going to go with a darker. A darker waste? Because there's two R's. I might be wrong. You guys probably think I'm an idiot right now. Opponent goes to six. They're dead next turn. Yeah, it's going to come off suspended. I'm going to spell stutter it. And opponent scoops it up. Okay. That's a pretty good game for us. Hmm. So what do we have in the sideboard for combo? Idol on a rhetoric seems pretty good. Meddling mages also seem pretty good. I would even maybe consider spreading seas just to mess with their mana a little bit. Thali is the same thing. Core firewalkers, no. Stony silence is pretty good against their mana rocks. So maybe. Uh, rest in peace, no. Blessed Alliance, no. Okay, so we're basically taking out all the creature disruption. Four paths, three reflector mages. Huh. Is that it? Do I want to keep a phantasmal image? Probably. We can copy our own creatures, which is good. Um. Hmm. Thalia seems a bit slow. And we can go down to one Spreading Seas. Try it something like that. Let me know down below how you guys would have sideboarded. I think that's the best right now. Take out all the creature spells, the creature hate, and reflector mages and paths. Thalia is an alright card. It's not awful, but, you know, it's just a, a fringe card that might be good against them. Thing with th same thing with Spreading Seas is why I didn't put a whole lot of value on bringing them all in. I don't even know if I want the one in, to be honest. Would I rather have a Thalia? Creatures, non-basic lands. Eh. Not necessarily. Rest in Peace still isn't that great. Unless they're playing the Snapcasters in the sideboard. But, I'll see you in the next... So we got another good hand. But we do not have... The... Um... Aether Vial... So if we don't draw a white source relying solely on Spell Stutter Sprite, I don't think it's bad. Yeah, I think there's high enough upside if we draw a white source. So I think we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Sea Chrome Coast into a Slive Hand. Sure, I don't mind. You can do that all you want, opponent. Or an Aether Vial. Aether Vial or a White Land. Puts us in a very good spot. Flicker Wisp, but not the greatest. Play Island, pass turn. Suspend trigger from Lotus Bloom, removes a counter. We might be just dead on turn three here, or four rather. Temple. Bottom or top opponent? Bottom or top? I guess I can spell stutter the Lotus Bloom. And they bottom the card from Temple. Sure. White source? Aether Vial. I think we'll just play Aether Vial here. And hope the game takes a little bit. If the game takes a while, I think we win this game or 
no doubt in my mind because we have like all these disruption like Leona Hoover doesn't really do anything but spell setter strikes meddling mage Thalia spell queller all very good cards city of brass sure and you got Phyrexian on life huh that's fine you sure I mean that's fine I don't care I mean it's annoying but can't really stop that so we need to keep the spell stutter up for the Lotus Bloom or draw a stony silence that I can't cast it's also an option and we just draw another flicker wisp well we're gonna pass turn keep up spell stutter sprite and hope they don't have a pact of negation Counters Lotus Bloom. Okay, sure. I guess if they have like Simeon Spirit Guide plus Black Source Land, they can still win. Which I don't think they have. Hmm. So now the question becomes what do I meddling mage? Uh, like, I can name Lightning Storm. But if they brought in Slaughter Packs. It's not the greatest. Could name just ad nauseum. Yeah. Two white. Another at Phyrexian on life. That's fine. I don't care. I don't have any way to interact with it really. I guess I could flicker wisp it. I would tick up Aether Vile. Hallowed Fountain. That's going to come into play untapped. Um, that means I'm going to play my Thalia here. I'm pretty sure that's game, right? I don't know what they could have. I guess they could just go big mana and just try to combo off that way. But then they have to use all four spirit guides to even cast their lightning storm. Attack them for one. They fall to 17. Pass turn. Okay, so they could just cast their ad nauseum here if they have a spirit guide. They really can't, though. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll Aether Violet here. Meddling Mage on Ad Nauseum. And now we have Flicker Wisp on Meddling Mage up at all times. Yeah, I'll take up Aether Vial. Ooh, is that a Ghost Quarter? I think you just pay for it. That's not as exciting. And let's turn some dude sideways. Attack for five. Opponent goes to twelve. We gotta get through the Frexian Unlifes. Fast turn. I think they can't beat this. I really don't think they can. Hmm, this deck's pretty sweet. I like this deck a lot. You got Pentad Prism. Uh, I could flicker wisp that. That'd be kind of cool. Well, that's fine. You can have more mana. Actually, I might flicker wisp it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Two turn clock opposed to a three turn clock. Yeah, that's fine. Flicker wisp the pentad prism. Gonna come back with zero gowners, I do believe. Not gonna tick up Aether Vial. Play another Eldrazi. I'll just keep it in my hand. There's no reason to play it. Attack with everything. Put the opponent down to five? Four. Yeah, we'll play the Eldrazi Temple in case we draw the Seagate Wreckage. Get their Pentabdism Rack with zero counters. Sure. It's a two turn clock for them now. Next turn puts them down to negative. Oh, actually, it's a three turn clock, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's a three turn clock. Sure. Hmm. 
Um, combat. I'm pretty sure they just lose the displacer. So maybe I just keep it up with Aether Vial. Just don't want all this mana to go unused. Yeah, we'll just cast it here. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Cast a Displacer. Now they're dead next turn, and we have Spell Queller up. And Flicker Wisp again. I guess they could Angel's Grace. And I can't really stop that. Can't be countered. Can't respond to its ability. we can flicker the meddling mage angel's grace angel's grace where yet where yet do I got to type the whole thing out that's awkward angel's grace there it is found it so now they can't fog us And my opponent scoops it up. That was a little risky there because my opponent could have tried to go off there. No, they couldn't. They only had five mana. They would need six. Um, but as always, guys, I hope you uh, if you guys like this content and want to see more, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. Comment down below with any play suggestions, deck suggestions, anything like that. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, email me. All those links will be in the description below. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see more awesome content like this on a daily basis. And I hope you guys have a good night. See you guys later. Bye-bye.